Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am actually up at a decent time, it is daylight outside. I And I woke up a little late today, that's why it is daylight outside. Um, I was actually supposed to take like an hour nap and it turned into three, four hours. So I'm already late, so I decided that I would just video while I am waiting for my lunch to be made. So, uh, last night I made the video and then afterwards I decided to go ahead and get started on the things that I wanted to do. So I'm actually going to... So I started a um, to-do list journal and I kept it updated on Snapchat. If you don't follow me on Snapchat, it is RandyTaylor28. Um, you can just follow me on there. I have my... So... Inside my to-do list uh, journal, I started off with a um, just a cute little title page just to show what it is. And I actually got this journal at an um, event I went to in Gettysburg. Uh, it's Destination Gettysburg Summit. And the journals were so cute. Like, there is note pages on one side. Oh, here, I'll go to the next one. Note pages on one side and then cute colorings on the other. So as you can see... I put my priorities in check with this book, so my home life should be number one because that is what I go to all the time. Um, cleaning my house needs to be a priority for me because it cleans my mind and the cleaner my house is, the cleaner I will be and the nicer I will feel when I come home because your house is your sanctuary and it should be something that you would want to come home to and it be clean and, and nice. So, I put down uh, my home as an everyday priority. I put chores, I put bills. I put my normal chores like you sweep, you vacuum, you mop, you dust, you clean the refrigerator, dishes, laundry, and trash. And then there's th some things that I have on the side that I still haven't gotten to. I have a box over here full of art supplies that I still have not gone through and organized. I have... Uh, all my moving boxes, which I've been here since September? No, I've been here since August. And I still have my moving boxes in my room in the corner. So I want to get rid of those. And then um, the closet that I use, I have two clo I have two closets. And <coughs> one my parents use. And then the other one is... Um, mine and it's not great right now so I want to go through it organize what I do want in it and what I don't want in it I want to put more stuff in my parents closet because that's a closet no one opens and I want to put all the stuff that I, I actually want to use in my closet organize it and make it look really nice and I'm thinking about putting my shoes in my closet because right now I have them hanging like on the door which I'm not a big fan of right now because I think I want to move my bed since I've been watching this vlogger, I've been wanting to move and change things around, and um, it's hard for me because I don't really have time to do it. Um, but if I make time for it, I can start doing it pretty well. So, and then I go into, and then this says, like, this is February, so these are the chores. And then I already started here when I did them, because remember yesterday, I woke up and I, like, cleaned the house. So I did sweep, I vacuumed, I mopped. I um, did a load of dishes, like I said, and I took out my trash yesterday. And then, and this is just February, and I was going to put the day that I did it in here so I can keep up with what I'm doing. And then also in here, I have my bills that I have. I have my electric, my rent, my insurance, my car payment, my groceries, and my phone. Now, um, I struggle with this part because... I, I just don't get paid enough for the bills that I have and I've already been to a financial advisor to tell me so so they understand the situation well my financial advisor does but uh, my bills will have to understand my situation I communicate with them I really recommend always communicating with the people that you owe money to the more you communicate the more they're willing to work with you if you ignore them they will shut everything off and they do not care about you if you put an effort into telling them where their money is and how long it's taking you and what's going on in your life they have more of a care and they'll note that on your stuff and then they'll even note it on your credit um, score so even though it says you were 30 days late on a payment, it'll say, but she did communicate to us and we were willing to work with her. The situation is changing. 
So it's it's really nice to keep that up. I, I went from a 720 uh, credit score and now I'm down to a 556, which is pretty awful. And I'm pretty upset about it because I'm a big person that cares about my credit and cares about what's going on. But, you know, I'm 22. It will come up eventually. My debt isn't actually as bad as people think. And um, I work really hard to get there. So, back to my journal. The second page is work. Um, priorities, home, then work. Um, but I don't really don't have anything in here. So, I work at four jobs. I work at the rest and in Camp Hill. Um, I work at Bonnie Plants with my father. I work at the Hilton Garden Inn in Gettysburg, but I haven't worked there since October. And then I work at uh, my campus, which is Harrisburg Area Community College. Um, I didn't know exactly what to put in here, but I did want this page to exist. So at the Radisson, I am the supervisor, or I think I'm demoting myself right now. So I'm in the process of demoting myself, but I still like keeping up with some of the things that I started when I was the supervisor. Like I, I handle all of our BEOs and our training and um, so on and so forth. So I wanted to keep that in here and, and just keep a reminder of things that I keep up with and I do. Then for my second, or sorry, third page, I have SPD, which is Student Programming Board. This is my hack job, but it is also my first club and my first priority when I'm at hack other than school. So um, I put a checklist of some of the things that we still need to get done for uh, this semester, let alone what we need to prepare for for next semester. Then on my next page, I have PBL. This is Phi Beta, Phi Beta Lambda. I This is a national business club, um, and I am the vice president, but I have taken on the roles of not only VP, but I've taken on treasury and secretary. So I do all their reports, and this is just a list of things that I still haven't gotten done, and uh, I try to do regularly, so I, I wanted to keep them on here as well. Then my next page I have... YouTube, because I've been getting really into uh, videoing now and vlogging a little bit more, I wanted to put up some uh, ideas for some videos that I wanted to do. And if you can see, all of my uh, pages have really nice, cute titles for them, little side notes on the side. And then if I ever get bored or upset or I just need to color, stress coloring is really good. I personally love it. I have other books in my bookshelf that's crazy of coloring. I never get a chance to actually do it. However, I love this idea because I will always be trying to check my lists off and now I will always have an area to color if I get stressed out. And I'll always keep it on me. And then I move on to school. Now I broke this down in pages and with um, my classes. But all of my titles say school, homework, and projects. So this is my digital marketing page, this is my retail buying page, this is my small business management page, and then this is my business math page. And I, I'll fill in as I go. I, I, after last night I was kind of uh, tired and I finished my audit around 2.45 and then I got to sit in the back for just a moment and I did a video. Sorry. I did a video and I also got a chance to um, do some of this stuff and then by the time I finished or half finished because I didn't even finish my title title page I want to color this completely blue um, once I finish finished then I'll have I don't even know what I was saying anymore anyway so then I have my research I want to do some research on um, third shift uh, lifestyles and stuff like that and then um, doing some research for the YouTube channels and then just some personal research like I have a planned trip to Ireland in uh, November so I want to do some research on that but I uh, this is just a research page and then it'll go into detail on the other ones so these are all blank but I do want to set up an Ireland page um, because I am traveling there soon so I want to know what it is I have a Netflix <coughs> and this will be my watch list. I do have my watch list on Netflix. And I am a weird person when it comes to my Netflix. So I have to have it in a certain like setup. But I want to prioritize my uh, Netflix watch right here. And make sure that I get the things done that I want to watch. Because even though my watch list is very specific and s suffice. I don't know how to explain it. 
I'm weird about my Netflix channel. I don't like anyone on it. I don't like when people watch things that I don't like on my little, you know, the little screen that says, um, continue watching. If that's out of whack, I freak out. Like, it has to have the stuff that I want to watch. And right now, I'm currently watching all of the seasons of Friends, which I am in love with. Um, but I have watched almost all of the seasons of Arrow, Flash, Grace and Frankie, The Ranch, Breaking Bad, uh, Weeds, Family Guy, uh, Wentworth, Orange is the New Black, all great shows by the way, and then there's movies on there that I haven't got a chance to see, but they did just put 47 meters down in uh, the movies. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm getting over a cough. And anyone who knows me knows that I'm absolutely in love with sharks, so that was the movie I wanted to watch, no lie, all summer long, and I never got a chance because I didn't have the money to go to the movie theaters. But if you just wait, it'll always come on Netflix. And then the next one is books. I am a non-person. I do not read at all. And I would love to. I actually have a whole freaking bookshelf dedicated to books that I want to read. Books that I've picked up at school that were for free. Books that I've picked up on my travels that I want to read. Um, I am a person who collects books but I don't read them so I definitely want to start listing the things that I want to read and then setting goals on when I want to finish them I found that if maybe I try to read like one to two chapters a day it'll build my way up to actually getting a book finished and I have great books I have all of the hardback copies of Stephen King thanks to my mother and she's known that I've been wanting to read them since the sixth grade because I used to take The Shining into school with me and I got in trouble for having it because it's a scary book and it's technically like an R-rated book. Um, and the, the covers are, are is all tear, torn up from me taking it to school and hiding it in my book bag. Um, so I've been wanting to actually read these books since the sixth grade and I still have not gotten a chance because I'm always in school. I never get a chance to like hmm, I want to read a book. Okay, well, I'll read my textbook because that's priority number one right now. And then my last page that I have right now, and I will fill out more, is my travel page. I, this is my main passion in life. My bucket list and everything it is travel. And so I thought I ha would have a page just dedicated to this. Um, but other pages that you can think of are like uh, your bucket list, your grocery list, your... Um, recipe list your favorite quotes i do want to get a whole entire notebook just dedicated to my favorite quotes because i do have a lot there i'm a business oriented person so there's a lot of business quotes that i would like um i want to start like a dream wall and stuff like that but i did mention in my last video about me writing everything down and putting it into a checklist if you so i sat down the other day and i set up a checklist of things that i want to do and I made multiple of them. I know it's hard to see in the camera. But basically, at the top, it says the daily to-do list. Check off what has been done. Circle what needs to be done. This cup, by the way, is from PJ Maxx. It is, like, really nice cup. And then it has this squishy top. I really love this cup. This is my coffee for the morning. And then, anyway... On the side, I have my extras, so things that I want to do, and most of it is exercise, um, so um, it's always something that I got to do. So today is Tuesday. I thought maybe I would just do this with you guys. Um, that way, it's done, first of all, so I'm keeping up with it, and two, you're in the witness of the first time of me actually filling it out. So today, um, I showered last night, so I didn't shower today, but I'll shower tonight because my now to-do list is a little messed up so um I did make my bed as soon as I got up today I did grab my breakfast I actually grabbed a granola bar and I made a smoothie today because again my ingredients are going bad so I still need to keep making smoothies every day so that would be um, making my breakfast but I have not eaten it yet I eat it on the go my hair actually Last night was in braids, and then today I took the braids out, and then I put a little palm on the top, and then, so my hair was super easy, nothing um, to worry about. Uh, dressing today was easy, so put a check in that. 
Um, my makeup was already done from last night. I just touched it up a little bit when I woke up. I am just made my lunch, so it is packed in my bag. My car is currently warming as I've been doing this whole video, so a good 12, 13 minutes now. I have not taken my medication, and I did brush my teeth. Click. And then I didn't do any of my extras today. Well, technically, I recorded a video today because technically I'm doing that right now. So, and then I will be posting one after this, the one that I did last night. So, I guess I can say that I recorded a video, and then I posted a video, and I started my journal, so I didn't do a weekly journal. But, it is nice to start checking things off. I'm a huge person that loves checking, so you can see, like, the things that I've done today, and then the extras that I did. And I think I might change the color each day, that way I can see what I did on each day. Something I would really recommend if you can't get your life together is checklist. Like even at work, that I absolutely adore checklists. I made the checklist for the second shift when I was the second shift supervisor. I follow the checklist every single night as night audit now. I am just a huge person when it comes to lists and checking things off. It is very satisfy satisfying for me personally. So um, I would recommend doing it because it does get you into a routine too. Alright, so I'm going to get packed up. I have my coffee made. My smoothie is in the refrigerator. My lunch is in my bag. My breakfast is in my bag. And my car is getting warmed up. So I'm going to end this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Again, this is all raw material. I still have not figured out editing because, let's be honest, I'd rather just be live and work from there instead of editing every video that I post. It's all original you know what's going on you know if I mess up it, it just doesn't even matter anymore I'm gonna start learning how to edit eventually but while I'm in school I just don't want to deal with another job to do videoing isn't that hard posting it is not that hard um, YouTube has been difficult for me to post so I've just been holding off on it because at this moment my priorities are school work work, bills, like, it, this has nothing to do with my priorities, but I do want to keep everyone updated, and I do want people to understand that I do struggle, and, um, this stuff happens, but I do gotta go, so thank you so much again for, um, watching this video, and all the others, and I will see you in my next video, thank you.